Welcome back to Cindy's Art. I've listed the supplies for this video in the description below. I started this painting off with a light wash, just of a few colors, and then let that dry, and then I began to move on creating the clouds. This is a wet-on-wet -wet technique, and I am going to just dab a little bit of color in, and because there is a dampness on the paper, the paint is going to spread. I'm going to let that spread, and then I am going back with a clean brush with just water on it and it's not that wet and I'm simply softening up the edges. If I see any hard edges, I am going back with that clear, clean brush and softening it up. Another way to create clouds is to put the uh, paint in like I'm doing and then I took a spray bottle and I just spritzed the clouds and what it does is it allows the paint to begin to run and blend together just a little bit more. I used a sponge just to dab up a little bit of the extra water that was running along the side of the painting. If you're enjoying this video, let your picture dry and be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Love to see you next time. The technique I'm using is I wet the skyline, I kept a, a nice firm line at the very top, added some paint in, let it run down, and then I again use a clean damp brush along the bottom to remove any harsh lines and it also adds in that fogginess again into the picture. Let's move on to the rocks and trees. We're gonna add our paint in. This is really wet on dry. And then I'm going to use a wet brush and smudge this because again, it's another technique of creating mist is taking a clean, damp, wet brush and just smudging it into the paint and removing some of it. And it creates this beautiful fog and mist look to it. We're going to move on to the lighthouse and you're going to see some hard and some soft edges. Same concept, let's add a little bit of paint to get the shape, but then let's use a brush that is damp and it's clean water. There's no paint in it and we'll smudge out a little bit of detail. And what that does is continue to let us to build the fog and the mist. I'm going to let the top part dry, but in this seaside area, I actually have dry paper, so I'm going to use my paintbrush. I used a pencil to sketch the boat, then my paintbrush, and then I finished it off with pens, black pens, and I'll list that in the description as to what brand I'm using. They work really well.
I'm developing the clouds in this area. The way that I did it was I put a little bit of water on the paper so it's damp. Then I took the side of my brush just to scrape in a little bit of color and let that kind of spread out on that damp area. Then I took my brush and I cleaned it off and I brushed it on top of my towel or my sponge that's next to my table. And then I just softened up those clouds again. I'm still letting the top part of my paper dry and I'm working on the seaside bottom. This is wet on wet. And all I'm doing is looking at my reference picture and finding out where some of those darks and lights are because there's a pool way in the background that is very light and I want to capture that. I, it adds a lot of interest to the painting. I'm going to add a little bit of glow into the skyline and I did that simply by using a little bit of Aurelian yellow which is very bright and a tiny bit of the permanent yellow orange. I'm working on the foreground just to add a little bit more darkness in there, try to define the rocks and try to define the rocks that are around the lighthouse actually are behind some ones that are in the front. So I'm just looking at my picture and working with my colors to define that more. In a minute, I'm actually going to darken up this rock that's closest to you. You'll see that in another minute. I'm using the same colors that I used in the sky to add the glow and I'm adding a tiny bit of those colors into the water so that way I can see that sky reflected in it. After I let that dry, I take a picture of this through my camera and then I'll look at the picture and I decided that I needed these rocks in the foreground a lot darker. You can look at the reference photo and you're going to see that as well. So that's what I'm working with is just trying to figure out how can I create more depth, more interest into this painting. There were a few little buildings that were in to this midsection of the skyline. So I'm slightly adding that in very lightly. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, take a piece of paper towel, dab it up and try it again. I didn't feel like I needed a lot of final details. I added a little bit more reflection in the water. I added a few more rock details off to the left towards the center and going towards the bottom. This is pretty much done. I would love to see your work. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest. Support me on Patreon, on YouTube. I love to see what you create. I look forward to seeing you the next time.